2017 comes off the back of a hugely successful year. In 2016, we had over 400,000 visitors to Science Gallery. And I think more than anything, this shows that there's a huge desire and interest in attending the kind of programs that we run here, particularly in ideas that bring different disciplines together to approach some of the big challenges that we face in the world at the moment. There are a number of really challenging things around the ethics of the application of AI. What we want AI to do for us as human beings and as a community. And I suppose this particular exhibition is going to be exploring the consequences of automation on the human condition and ordinary human beings' role in life. And I think these are questions that are really important for us to start asking. One of the really interesting things is how much AI has advanced in our everyday lives. I think we're, you know, we're often touched by lots and lots of AI applications and we don't even notice that in fact that they are AI applications. Should we be optimistic about the role of artificial intelligence? And I think, I think we should. Artificial intelligence can, can play an assistive and supportive role to our everyday lives. Well, you know, the big question we'd really like to ask is, what is music? When does a noisy sound become musical? How many sounds do you need to have? What is this thing that we all really like? It's called music. Composers, artists historically have been fascinated by making new sounds out of anything they can get their hands on. Nowadays, um, things like the Arduino, physical computing and bits and bobs from all over the household can be used to make sound. So there'll be digital technologies, there'll be computer-based technologies, but there'll also be analog technologies, and all these things will be brought together. Music is something that is a form of communication between people, and actually we're going to hopefully set up environments that don't require any kind of previous experience, People get involved, they make some sounds, they make some musical experiences. I'm just looking forward to hearing the stuff that people make and uh, being inspired to go off and think, maybe think again myself about what music is. Collapse really is playing with the popular culture aspect of the end of the world, but bedding it down in real research. When we were developing the idea, what we were really interested in looking at is there are many doomsday scenarios out there at the moment about what are the big challenges that we face. We're going to be looking at things like antibiotic resistance, feeding people in the future, water conservation, geological movement within the planet. And as a theme, it's a really rich area from people from both art, sciences, design, health, all to come together to, to tackle. In 2017, Science Gallery also has huge ambition within its education and learning programs. We're looking at expanding the number of second level students that are interacting with our programs. We're really pushing that mission that we have to bring art and science together. Makeshop is a workshop space set up by the Science Gallery four years ago where people could just come in off the street, pick a project, sit down and make it. And it was just to introduce people to a kind of hands-on making they might not have experienced before and just showing how accessible it is to people of all experiences. From our beginnings as a pop-up space in 2012, Makeshop has really expanded and developed now. In 2017, we're hoping to reach more people than ever before with workshops all over the country, bringing our interactive approach to science and education. We're really focusing on how we can extend Science Gallery beyond our own walls. How we can reach out to new audiences, people who aren't ordinarily attending our events and exhibitions programmes. When I look at the current students in Trinity, I see that Science Gallery is a resource for them because it allows them to come in. And even if they're not doing science themselves, they can participate and learn about the scientific process. Science education is now about doing things. And we're beginning to see universities change and how they present and create educational opportunities for students and Science Gallery is at the very cutting edge globally in this and that's why Science Gallery is important for us.